Hello viewers, yeah, it's exactly 5 minutes past 6 a.m. and we're about to start our road trip. We're leaving Lagos right now and we're heading to Delta State, Agbo Kingdom precisely. We'll keep you posted on our movements, okay? Agbo remains the largest of Ika community with close geographical location to Benin City. We at Nkain TV embarked on a road trip from Lagos to Delta State just to show you our beautiful viewers some parts of Delta State. We're approaching or any moment from now. It's uh, about 20 minutes past 8 a.m. That's about two hours plus now, right? Yeah. All right. The Ika speaking people are domiciled in the northwest of Delta State, Nigeria. They share borders in the west with the Edo's, north with the Ishans, east with the Anyochans, and south with the Ukwani speaking communities. The Ika communities mostly comprise the following Agbo, Owa, Omunede, Mbiri, Abavo, Orogodo, Otolopo, Igbodo, Utoku, Utubeje. Idumesa, Akumazi, Ekmo, among others, which are mainly found in two local government areas, Ika Northeast and Ika South local government areas, both created in 1991 from a single Ika local government area in Delta State, Nigeria. Ika South and Ika Northeast local government areas occupies a land area of 117.45 square kilometers with an approximate population of over 300,000 people. Geographically, there are other Ika speaking people that are outside the Ika Northeast and Ika South local government areas, like Igbanke, Inyelen, Ekmon, Owani Keke, Owariu Zoidu, and Igbogilari are presently located in Edo State. Its constant wars with Benin are well known. This may have also accounted for its consideration as the most politically and militarily powerful of all Ika clans. The wars which lasted until the 19th century may have also swelled the military prowess of the community and helped to make it a force to reckon with within the Ika nations and the entire country. As the immediate past chief of Nigerian defense staffs, General Loki Irabo is also from Agbo, some historians describe the Ika dialect as Igbo because it has unnoticeable difference from the general Igbo language spoken within the Anyoma area. Only weak phonological and lexical difference separates it from the variety of dialects spoken within the Anyoma confine. In actual fact, Ika dialect is a mixture of Igbo and Benin, which evidently suggests it's the influence of proximity with the Anyocha Oshimili and Edo groups. This is also reflected in the names that the people bear. The whole of Ika community speak Ika dialect, while Igbodo speaks Dwell, Ika, and Enwani dialects. Our first stop was at Agbo, a town in the oil rich Delta state of Nigeria. It was a dizzy day. I and my beautiful wife and co-CEO of Inkeen TV checked into Girona Hotel along the Lagos Asaba Expressway that cost us 40 USD, that is 40 US dollars per night. Oosh! That's much. Considering the exchange rate and economic state of the country as at when this video was shot. But it's worth it considering the serenity of the environment and customer care. Kudos to the staff and management. It was time to take a tour of the beautiful town of Agbo. The ancient town is endowed with good roads, beautified with glittering street lights. I'm not surprised the immediate past governor of the state, Dr. Ifai Okawa, is from Agbo. Not to say he didn't reciprocate the same development in other parts of the state, I think he did well from our observations. On significant traits, of the Ika people is their love for motorcycles. Agbo, in my opinion, is literally a motorcycle town of Nigeria. <laughs> I took a stroll to the ancient palace of the Dain of Agbo. Dr. Benjamin Ikechuku Kiagwe Kuzi the first. And I bet you it's a beautiful edifice to behold. Historically, the Ika people are predominantly farmers, hunters, and traders. 
but today due to modernization and education the locals are more into civil service unfortunately the younger generation are mostly explorers who travel around the world in search of greener pasture as there are no significant industries in the town to provide employment the land is blessed with prominent nigerians such as the immediate past chief of nigerian defense staff general lucky Rabo. The immediate past governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin MFN, Nigerian banker, philanthropist, and businessman, Mr. Jim Obia, Dr. Ifain Okowa, a one time vice presidential candidate and former governor of the state, among others. The Ikas are rich in culture and tradition, with varieties of jaw dropping cuisines. Are you single looking for a beautiful bride? respectful with a sense of culture, intelligent, industrious, educated, and social. Then I suggest you pay this beautiful town a visit, but don't forget to invite us for the wedding day love rides. <laughs> Agbo is also host to the biggest water park in West Africa, which definitely makes it a tourist destination. We at Nkeni TV had a good time exploring this beautiful town. Please don't forget to like, follow and subscribe to our channel as we shall be bringing you more educative and entertaining content. What do you know or think about the people of the town? Let us read from you in the comment section. This is our discovery for today. See you next time.